Hello everybody and welcome back to Squid Slippery Sky Island Challenge. Welcome to another beautiful day in Squid Slippery Sky Island. And there's no clouds for some reason. I need clouds on. I'm going to put clouds on just one second. How are we all doing today? I'm joined as always by my good friends Elfly and MC Climax. And we're going to do some more building. The, the time is ticking down to Christmas and there's a spider on the roof. Quick, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it with fire, kill it with fire, quick. Oh, I just hit him in the bum. One more. I missed, come on, come on, come on, boom, good job, good shooting, good old shooting, uh, so yeah, uh, we carried on, uh, we didn't carry on, we started this last episode, if you don't know what this is, uh, this is basically uh, the Christmas journey, and uh, what it is, is just basically going through all the stages uh, of Christmas, uh, but into a roller coaster, so... Here we have the Santa Coaster. I don't really know what to call it yet. I'm calling it the Christmas Journey, the Santa Coaster. Not really sure. Yeah, but yeah, the basic stages are Rex Letter, the uh, Letter Travels to North Pole, Santa Reads, Elves Making Toys, then Santa sets off, and then he goes down the chimney. Um, so yeah, this is what we basically did. Who else was this? Lily Mutad. No, Lee, Friday night, uh, Saturday night is pizza night. Me and Lee have been having a massive debate before this, um, the Sky Island, uh, episode, which has probably got nothing to do with anything, uh, but Lee has pizza on Friday nights, therefore he thinks Friday night is pizza night. I have pizza night every Saturday night, therefore pizza night is my Saturday night, and Lee got very angry, didn't you, Lee? You're very, very angry, Mr. Bear. Um, yeah, basically, Friday night, uh, is just not pizza night. So anyway, um, uh, this is... <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, what we did last episode. I did all the redstone stuff out of the episode because it took me about two hours to do and uh, you guys don't want to see me scratching my head uh, for two hours. So basically, uh, the roller coaster comes around here and then it gets... Oh, no, I've just trapped myself in a hole. <laughs> uh, but basically, um, it's hooked up to like a, a pressure plate on a roller coaster track. I don't know what they're called. I think they're called the detector rails. And then... Oh, thank you. Basically... Um, it sends a redstone signal uh, all the way up here, uh, which is connected to a dispenser, and everyone's breaking the set for some strange reason. And yeah, so basically, uh, when your roller coaster runs onto that that thing, that sends a signal all the way upstairs and uh, into a dispenser, and a little message pops down, which is the letter that Timmy writes, and um, he says, "Dear Santa, can I have a bike for Christmas?" And then yeah. And that's basically the first stage of the Christmas coaster. Um, so what we're going to do this episode is we're actually going to build the second half, uh, which basically is uh, the, the long tunnel uh, where the letter goes to Santa Claus. Uh, so what we need to be doing is we need to be building igloo uh, where Santa lives. He probably lives in a big igloo or something like that. Uh, I've moved some of the sheep from the Sky Island. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to let you guys just crack on with that while I go and show uh, these lovely people what I've actually done. Uh, basically, in between episodes, uh, I built like a, a mini transportation system from the Sky Island to uh, here, basically, the theme park. And uh, all it is, it's a continuous uh, minecart that goes all the way around. Uh, so basically, you wait for one, uh, you, you, you got to be quick, <laughs> you got you to left trigger it. Let me just try and left trigger this one. Hey, uh, no, I missed, I'm going to have to wait for another one to come round. But basically, uh, it takes you uh, back up to the island. Can I get this one? I can't, I can't actually get one. Why can I not get on them? This is supposed to work, but I just, let me just, uh, oh, there we go. So basically, you get on it, and then you travel all the way up to the top, and then you left trigger here, and then you can get off of it, and then you can go back up to the island, and uh, this is what we're going to be doing for this this episode, really. I'm going to split it in half, because um, some people are saying that I don't really uh, play enough games, and all I do is work, 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 and uh, yeah, it's pretty much true. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to do half and half. I'm going to do exactly half of the episode we're building. And then the other half, I am going to be actually playing a lot of games. We're going to be playing uh, stuff like my PvP arrow. We're going to be going down to uh, the good old Olympics. We're going to be playing some uh, hurdles. Um, we're basically going to be playing uh, a lot of games which we haven't played in a while. I, I generally uh, normally build these things and never actually get a chance to play them. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually start playing some stuff. I'm going to just... Um, oh, who's that? Who's that cat? Who's that Timmy cat? I might actually bring Timmy cat with me. Uh, let's just put a load of stuff away that we don't actually need. Uh, like stuff like this and the ender pearls and the netherrack. I'm going to grab myself some iron ingots because I need some shears because we've moved uh, some of the sheep from the uh, from the pen. Uh, 
And um, I've moved them all the way over to the theme back so we can start shearing some wool. Um, so yeah, I think Timmy Cat is actually uh, in my house. I'm just going to bring him. I think he's up here. I can hear him. Where is it? Hello? Timmy Cat! Hello, Timmy Cat! Is he stood by uh, water? I'm not sure you want to be uh, right by water, Timmy Cat. So I'm going to take you. Come on, Timmy Cat. We're going to take you by Timmy. Uh, we're going to put you in the Christmas thing. Uh, I always call things Timmy, like, my cat's called Timmy. The guy who wants a bike for Christmas is called Timmy. I'm probably going to have to come up with some better names. I just like the the, the name Timmy. I think it's very fitting. Uh, right, so I'm going to get back on my roller coaster. I've got some iron. And uh, is anything actually spawning here? This is my uh, mob spawner. I can see a cre- Is that- Oh! Oh, there we go. I worked. That's good. Oh no, it didn't. It didn't work. He's still up here. Okay, uh, let's just back away. Uh, Timmy Cat. We don't want to mess with him. That's that mob spot. If you've never seen it before, uh, I realise there's a lot of uh, new subscribers to the channel. And they're not sure uh, what actually everything is on the Sky Island. Um, so yeah, right. We got stuff sorted. We got Timmy Cat. We got some iron. We're gonna make some shears and um, see what progress we've made. Uh, we're actually. Nearly coming up to the halfway point. I haven't built anything yet. I really do need to uh, get my acting gear. I need to start building as many things as I can. Uh, right, what can we do? We need shears. Shears are located here. There we go. We've got some shears. And I'm going to put this in my hot bag. So I'm going to shear a load of wool for this, guys. Uh, even though I've got like a stack on me, I'm just going to get a load of wool ready. Um, so, yeah. Uh, that's <laughs> Friday night piece of night. Oh, look, you've actually made some good progress. Okay. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put wool in here. And I'm going to quickly... Just shear some stuff. What's in here? Dirt. I'm just going to put all of my random junk in here as well because I don't actually uh, need all that. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to start shearing some of these beautiful sheep and getting some wool ready uh, that we can add on to the roller coaster because we do need to build uh, an igloo and then we need to put like a giant Santa Claus in it. So I'm not sure um, how big the igloo is going to have to be, but I'm sure we'll come up with some way. Uh, right, okay, let's do this. Let's go and build. I'm going to sit Timmy Cat here. Uh, he's probably going to end up sleeping on the chest or something like that. Look at this. Good job, guys. I'm going to go around the other side. It's probably going to give me like one ha one side done. Oh, no, look. They actually did quite a lot. Okay, so you're going to come through here, and this is going to be going through like a big tunnel. If you want to keep carry on making it a bit, bit longer, guys, and then we're going to put like an igloo right at the end. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to start making like... I want to make it so you see the list, like traveling. Uh, so I'm not sure I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to just come up with some fancy design. Um, sort of like, um, this, something like this. I don't really know how I'm going to do it. I kind of want like a circular, circular movement, like running through, uh, but I'm not actually sure how to do it with blocks. Maybe, no, I'm <laughs> just going to bang the heads there. Maybe I'll just have like, uh, random stuff at the sides. I'm just going to have like random transportations. Uh, okay, something like this. We're just going to put random blocks of snow everywhere. Uh, we're probably going to make it look a bit more fancy than this. Um, but maybe I should build, like, the postman, like, walking <laughs> to the North Pole or something. I don't know. Um, so something like this. So they're going through, like, like snow. Uh, I'm going to put some stuff up here. We're just going to make this all pretty much look like it's being buried in snow and uh, it's travelling to the, to the North Pole, like so. Uh, so we carry on making this longer, a bit more dense, like this. There we go. It's not too bad. And then right at the end, uh, we're going to have to build a big, really big, really big igloo. So I guess what we can do, and I'm starving. Does anyone get any food for me? I'm absolutely hungry. Anyone? Anyone got any? <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Everyone just throws down chicken legs and it's like a buffet. Oh, dear. Right, okay, I'm going to you know, chop down the streaks. It's going to probably get in our way. And uh, then we're going to start work on the igloo. Uh, but as I said... I'm going to do half an hour for games, um, so we're going to have to be uh, quite quick with this. I want to get one stage done uh, in prop <coughs> every episode. Uh, so each time we come to the Skyland, there's one thing done. Uh, I want to make some good progress on this. Uh, so maybe, instead of like destroying the land, maybe we can just put the igloo like on this lake here, maybe? Maybe if we just like... I don't know. Maybe I think we, we probably can do that. If we make like a big, really big igloo right round here somewhere. Maybe, maybe like here, Lee. I think we'd do it like here. This would probably be a good idea. Um, so if we just basically, the best way <laughs> to make an igloo um, in real life and on Minecraft is probably uh, just to build like a huge block, uh, a huge massive block of snow. And then the best way is just to 
tunnel it out and like hollow it out inside. Um, so probably this is just gonna look like a massive block of snow, and uh, it'll 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 get a lot of progress made. Um, throughout the throughout the episode, we're gonna hollow it out, and then what you can do is you can gather the blocks that you've hollowed out and put them back on top, and you just make like this really cool hollow kind of area and kind of house. Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna snip some more sheep. I probably should make these all uh, white sheep uh, just so we can get a lot of white wool because uh, we don't really need any of this colourful wool just yet. We probably do need some, but not... Oh, no, just put that there. Go on, grow, 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 grow. Yeah, there we go. Right, so we're going to do that. It'd be good if you could get, like, looting on your uh, on your shears. So that means you get, like, wool. Like, I wonder if you can. Can you can you enchant shears? Can you get, like, a, a looting a rating on your shears? So you can get, like, like more wool each time. Uh, okay, so the, the thingy is going to be here. Uh, we're probably going to need to get to bed soon. Otherwise, we're going to get blown up by everything under the sun. Creepers, skeletons, zombies, everything. Um, so we'll just finish this off, and um, and then we're gonna try and uh, play some games. Yeah! All we've been doing is building for like lots and lots of episodes. So we're gonna have a break. I'm gonna treat everyone. We're gonna actually uh, just spend like nearly the full episode playing games. We've made a good bit of progress here. I'm liking what we've done. Um, so the whole the whole thing is basically gonna look like. I hope you can imagine this as well as it's gonna come out. It probably won't. Hopefully it's going to come out well, but you start off in here, um, it's going to be going like slow pace, I'm going to shut the doors quickly so we don't die, uh, so it comes really slow pace like through here, um, and it stops here, uh, the, the list drops down, and then you read, uh, Dear Santa, can I have a bike for Christmas? Um, and then that's the first bit, you come around here really slowly, you get to look at all the scenery, and then it starts to speed up, I'm probably going to put some redstone tracks in here, and then you come flying through here, through like a blizzard, um, and then you're going to end up coming out around corners and stuff like that, it's going to go nyom nyom, and then there's going to be a giant igloo here, and there's going to be Santa inside, and um, basically he's going to be like, ho oh, ho ho, Timmy wants a bike for Christmas, and then he's like, right, I'm going to send this to the elves. And then it's going to, like, basically go through another big area. There's going to be a massive workshop full of elves. They're making lots of presents and stuff like that. There's the creeper. Creeper, I'm going to get the water. Oh, no. Quick. Help me, guys. This is a... Oh, wait. Wait. Who's... Quick, 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 quick. Boo. There we go. Took him out. Oh, whew. Ow. What did I get hit by? Oh, was that... Lee, I'm not a creeper. <laughs> but yeah, there's going to be like a... Um, we need to build like this giant igloo. There's going to be... Maybe we can just build it out of snow. I think this is probably going to be easier. If I empty my inventory... Oh, let me just have a look in that other chest. See if we've got any other wall. If we don't, uh, then what I'm going to have to do is probably... Um, use snow. Uh, because we've got a lot of snow around us. Or maybe even just... Um, uh, I don't even know why even else. <laughs> Maybe we could just play some uh, games because it is coming to like nearly three quarters away for the video. So we're going to actually play like 10 minutes worth of games. And there's a creeper outside my door. No! Right, okay. Um, I'm going to sit back. Guys, don't panic. I'm going to take this guy out, hopefully. Oh, could do we knock back? I don't want him to blow this thing up. Oh, there we go. We knocked him back quite far there. One more. Maybe. Oh, thank God for that. We took him out. We took him out, guys. Don't worry. Um, right, let's quickly just see. And there's a creeper. <laughs> There's a creeper. I thought he was in the sheep pen. I thought he was trying to be like a sheep then. He's like, nah, I am a sheep. <laughs> right, we're going to see um, if there's any other uh, snow. We've got, quite, we've got quite a lot of snow in here. Okay. Um, if we just grab uh, this snow, if we keep building uh, until it comes daytime and then we'll play games. Okay, that's a fair deal, isn't it? As soon as it comes daytime, we'll stop doing what we're doing, what we're doing and we'll start playing games. We might as well uh, make the most of this uh, night time and uh, carry on building as quick as we can. Uh, I'm going to get on with the igloo. I need to get... Oh, there's a spider again. This is the problem working at night. This is the problem. These are the uh, these are risks you have to take of uh, building at night. Um, what's hitting me? Oh, skeleton. Oh, dear. Okay, right. Let's do this. Let's. It's probably going to look weird. I don't think it'll look that weird, actually. Snow and um, the white wool isn't that far apart with the contrast. Uh, maybe we can just make the igloo just out of mainly snow and make the ride out of white wool. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, so I'm going to build... Are you having a bit of problem? Um, Climax, you got it covered? You got it sorted? I think he's got it sorted. Good job. Right, let's get this all done and get the rest of this built. I really want to put a roof on this by the end of this episode. Uh, so we've got to be quick before it comes night time. Uh, okay, so what can we do here, guys? Basically, let's just pile this on like crazy. Maybe, is that going to be a waste of time? I don't know. Let's just try and put a roof on. Uh, I'm going to mark out and then if you guys just build up um, so if I'm just going to mine all this, I'm going to cut this tree down, and then we should be pretty much short. I'm going to use my pickaxe, because uh, it's a lot more efficient than my axe. Let's just get this down. These trees are 
Ah, oh, there we go. I was going to say these trees are so awkward because they just like they, they they grow like really tall and it's hard to like mine all the wool out. But we managed to do it. Uh, mine all the wool. <laughs> mine all the wood. I've got wood on the brain. Okay, right. Let's put like a, an igloo entrance on this. The igloo entrance is generally uh, looks something like that, maybe, um, like so. And then we're going to put a top on like this, you know, like so, like this. And it normally comes out. There's normally like a bit of uh, nice shape to it. Uh, and then we're going to put, we're going to make it come out one, two, like that. And then we're going to go in one. So um, I'll just do the same at each side. So one there. And then it's going to come up like that. And then it's going to go diagonal again. So I'll do the same on the other side. Um, and it's going to go one, two, up. Uh, and then we're going to go, I think we're going to go one more diagonal. And it's going to go three. So we're going to go like uh, one more diagonal and then three. Is that right? Two. I think that's right. Is that is that correct? Yeah, one, two, and then three there. And then just basically build it up. And then we're going to actually go one more, Lee. So one more there, like so. One more this side. And then we're going to go diagonal again, like there. We're going to go diagonal in. And we're just going to get rid of this... <laughs> This tree's in my way. <laughs> Where's my shears as well? Shears are actually really good. Uh, let's just try and get this. It's going to cut it up rapid fire. Here we go. Like so. Just destroy all this. And how are we doing? How are we doing for time? Where's this? Where's the actual moon? Uh, it's going down. We need to be quick, lad. We need to be quick as we can. Uh, so we're going to go in there like so. I've done that wrong again. Um, I don't know why I'm using shears to cut up snow. Uh, so we go in like that. Get this pretty tall. Um, you guys are doing a good job taking out all these creatures and mobs. Uh, we're going to go diagonal there. Diagonal again. Diagonal here. Um, and then we're going to go diagonal one more. And then we're going to put a back on it. Oops! <laughs> Building out of leaves. So diagonal there. Diagonal there. And then we're going to build... So builds basically... Um, actually, I'm going to go in... Wait, am I using... Oh, no, I'm using... Oh, wait a minute. I've done this wrong. I've built this out of white wool and not snow. They both look exactly the same. I'm going to... Um, take my white wool and put it in here and replace it with pink wool so I don't get confused. Uh, if we do something like this, and then we chop this tree down, we're going to be quick because the sun's coming up. Uh, we're going to get as much of this done as we can. And we made some good progress, though. Uh, so, yeah, they're going to basically put a back on this, probably like uh, here, like so. I'm just going to build this like that because it's got to be kind of like a weird shape. Big loos are generally uh, weird shapes. They're not exactly... They don't have to be specifically just one uh, shape. They're normally like a... Um, like a, I think they basically look like a big giant snowball. So that's how I want to make it look. Uh, so I'm going to come up with snow. And then I'm going to quickly try and do the roof as, as quick as I can. So we're going to build it like uh, something like this, maybe. Uh, if I can reach. There we go. Like so. And then we're going to bring this down one and in one and down one like that. Uh, so I guess if we just make uh, the insides kind of look like that. And then I guess we can't really go uh, that far wrong. Uh, so basically, uh, Santa Claus is going to fit in here somehow. I was going to make him really, like, big and then have him kind of, like, reading a note. But I guess if we just make him, like, pumpkin size, <laughs> we keep everything the same size, I think that would be better. Because, like, you don't, like, associate Santa as being a giant, massive fellow. Uh, so I guess if we make him pumpkin size. So this is going to be the igloo where he is. Uh, if we quickly just try and put this roof on, like so, uh, then I can make it look pretty. Uh, the next episode, like so, just do this. Uh, just basically enclose it with a load of stuff. Um, and then, that is basically that next stage in a nutshell. All there is going to be, you're going to come through here. So the, the roller coaster is going to stop. There's basically going to be uh, Santa Claus. Uh, I've got no red wool to kind of associate him. We're going to put him in orange. We're going to have Santa Claus like here, uh, sitting on a chair. He's going to read the note. And then there's going to be like a big pile of notes here. Uh, there's going to be like, um, I don't know what else. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's Santa Claus. There's going to be lots of stuff around him. And then you're going to go like, it's going to come right. And then through here, we're going to actually build uh, the workshop. So next episode, we're going to build a giant house. There's going to be lots of elves in there working. The roller coaster is going to go around different kind of workstations, seeing the elves build toys at different stages. And uh, it's going to be pretty magical. I hope it, it's going to be as good as I think it is. It's going to be, surely it's going to be a, a jolly good adventure. But now I did say we're going to play some games. Uh, so come on, lads, let's go and have some fun. <laughs> I am absolutely knackered. I've been, we've been building non-stop this episode. We've been building for full 20 minutes. I think we've made some good progress. Uh, basically, what I tried to achieve 
uh, every episode is uh, for you guys to get a good insight of what I'm actually going to build. And uh, also, the whole point of this is for you guys to get um, some good ideas for your projects as well. You know, what you do in your world and stuff like that. And hopefully I can uh, help you build a lot of stuff. Uh, but for now, we're going to be doing something uh, that we haven't done in a long time. We're actually going to head back up to the island. We're going to say goodbye to Bob for this episode. See you later, Bob. We're off on the island. Uh, we might see you back in about five or ten minutes because we're going to play some games back at the island. So see you later, Bob. See you later, mate. Right, come on, let's test out this. Uh, let's test out the roller coaster, Lee. Lee, come on, mate. We got we got a brand new uh, roller coaster installed. You gotta you gotta left click on the minecart. You gotta be quick though. It's kind of tricky. You gotta just time it just right. Uh, so when one comes along, you gotta LT on it as soon as you can. Uh, there we go. Climax has got it. Come on, Lee, you can do it. You just gotta be really quick. You gotta LT on it. And um, there we go. Lee's got it. And you gotta do the same on the other side and get off it and try not to block the minecarts. Uh, otherwise it won't. <laughs> Look, Lee's having so much fun, he's coming back for seconds. <laughs> Hi, Lee. Oh, uh, dear. Right, okay, so I'm going to have to time it. I, I'm just going to spam left click on this blocky. It's probably the most wise idea. Oh, did I miss it then? Oh, no, I'm still missing it. Maybe if I if I left click, um, left trigger on, like, this area here, so I'm, like, looking at it. Lee's hit the ground. Why are all the minecarts going backwards? What's, what's happening? How did Lee die? Lee, it's a simple minecart course. All you do is left click and then you get off. How is he? How is he dead? How is he possible? I don't, I don't get it. I don't. I don't get. I don't get how he how he comes up with these things sometimes. Lee, he always seems to. He he, he never seems to amaze me of how many times he dies in in which random ways possible. Uh, but anyway, um, we're going to jump on PvP. We're going to go to uh, Squid's um, Slippery Showdown, actually. Uh, we haven't played it in a while, uh, so I don't really want to play it. And I'm feeling confident, so I'm going to do, do a 2v1 against these guys. Uh, I'm going to come into my house, and I'm going to actually uh, empty my stuff in a chest because um, when you're playing um, Squid's Slippery Showdown, you can't have any stuff on here. Um, you, can't, you can have some food. I'm going to allow some food, but I'm going to absolutely uh, empty my inventory just uh, for basically, uh, just so I'm not cheating. And what else do we need to do? I need to, I'm just going to grab myself some pork chops really quickly. Uh, I'm going to take my iron uh, armor off as well. I'm going to get, I'm going to get naked and uh, yeah, we're going to actually head uh, to PvP showdown. So let's do this. Let's go. Hopefully um, these two guys are already there. Um, I don't know where Lee is. Is anyone actually here? Am I just here on my own? <laughs> Is anyone in the red ta red side? No, no one's in the blue side. Where, where is everyone? Where are you guys at? They're just, they're just absolutely lost. Uh, what we're going to do, just to save a bit of time, is I'm going to cut the video here. Oh, no, I'm not, because they're already here. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, Climax. Come on, Limito. Let's go and play some Let's go play some games. Right, if you guys want to uh, empty your stuff out in your houses, uh, I don't think Climax has actually got a house. We might have to uh, build him a house in one episode, because he actually needs one. Um, leave you empty all stuff, mate. Uh, and then what you're going to do is, you two, if you want to uh, basically uh, pick a side and uh, get yourself ready with some bow and arrows and some... Yeah, bow and arrows. <laughs> I was going to say bow and arrows and arrows, but the same thing. So get yourself a bow, get yourself some arrows, uh, go in the red team. And uh, I'm going to quickly close this lever so it shuts down. Uh, and then we're going to do a 2v1. I'm not sure how it's going to work. I'm not sure if we're going to actually, uh, if I'm going to die. Lee, you need to take your panties off, mate. Make sure, make sure you've got no armor rating or anything like that. Um, actually, I will cut the video guys here so when these guys are ready. Uh, because it's probably going to take a while. So I'll be back in just oh, one second. Right, guys, we're back in. There's Lee Matode and Climax in red side, and I'm in the blue side. I'm not really feeling that confident because these two is, these two are pretty good. Uh, a PvP. So I guess, guys, if you just want to go easy on me, um, <laughs> probably won't. But all right then. Okay, let's do this. Three, two. One. Beep! Okay, okay. So if you never played uh, PvP uh, Switch Slippery uh, Showdown before, what it is, it's a PvP based map. And Lima turned, you can't see her. Look, you pussy can't see her. Mr. Whiskers. Uh, so if you've never played it before, uh, basically what it is, it's a huge map uh, dedicated to shooting arrows at each other, and it's a team based game. Um, so it is uh, basically 4v4v4, but there's just me on my own, which is kind of. Um, not very good. So I'm gonna. Uh, there's different stuff all the way around the map. That if you can see, there's parkour in the centre. Uh, basically, what that is, that leads to a bow, uh, which is really quite good. I think it is enchanted. It's got a load of armor ratings on it, which is very good. And uh, yeah, it's definitely the one to get if you can actually get up there. Uh, there's potions all around the map as well. And uh, how did I get hurt? Who, who actually shot me then? I don't think I. Who shot me? Someone with a quite a 
quite a good shot. It's got me. And who? Oh, I think. Who is this at the top? I think someone's actually gone up the top and got the ball already. Oh, now the problem is. Uh, what they have to do is they actually have to get down safely. Uh, now, this is a problem because, as you can see, you're on top of a giant squid and it is literally uh, very high and you do have a chance of dying. So, uh, it is advisable uh, not to go up there. It's kind of like the risk I wanted to take. Oh, no, he's been very sneaky. He's been very sneaky. Uh, so, right now, I am a ki kind of um, a very bad uh, disadvantage uh, because I have not got uh, anything. And uh, who is this up here? It's Lematode. Hi, Lee. How are you doing, mate? Uh, there's also tunnels uh, located underground. This, we should be playing this with gamer tags off, really. Uh, but I forgot. But So never mind. Um, right, come on, Squidward. Come on, Squidward. Come on, Squid Nugget. We can do this. We can we can beast everyone at arrow shots. Uh, Lee's up here. I'm going to try and get him off. There we go. We shot him. We shot him. We got managed to get him. Now, as again, there's a load of things that I did with these towers. Uh, it was all very tactical. Uh, I basically put towers really high. Uh, so if you did get shot off, um, you basically will um, get fall damage. Uh, so all throughout the map, there is pros and cons. And uh, yeah, it's um, basically uh, everything has got a purpose in this map. There's there's cover, uh, there's high points, there's low points, and um, it's basically just uh, generally I think a decent map. And I'm too my own horny. But anyway, let's get into it. I need to try and um, splash these two guys. If I can get them together, that'd be a bonus. Uh, right. So Lima Toads here. I am going to splash him. If I can't, I think I got him um, with po poison. I get him with poison. I think I did get him with poison here. Oh, Climax is there. Come on, Climax. I'm going to try and take these guys out. Oh, oh, we got him. We got Climax. We're going to get Lee. We're going to try and get Lee if we can't. I managed to, like, get him with a load of arrows. Oh, Lee's here. I've just got the enchanted bow as well. Oh, oh, I'm going to splash with potion of healing. Uh, I'm going to get back in the game. Uh, and Lee has left the game. Oh, he rage quitted. He couldn't handle the squidiness. Did you see that? I absolutely beasted him, guys. I was like, pew, 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 pew. <laughs> anyway, um, that was basically um, Squid's Slippery Shot. I absolutely love this map. It's awesome. Uh, but again, what I'm going to do, I'm going to regroup everyone. We're going to play some more games. So I will see you in just one second. Right, guys, we're back at Squid Slippery Olympic Stadium. And uh, we managed to kick Lee's booty so hard that he rage quit the game and has gone offline. So sorry, Lee. Uh, but it's just me and Climax left. And uh, we're going to play a few more mini games uh, before we end the episode. Uh, so what we're going to start with is we're going to start with the jumpy jumps. I don't really know what I call this. It's basically, it's just like um, hurdles, jumping hurdles, but it's got cobwebs. Uh, so what you need to do uh, is you need to time it right and um, let's do this. We're going to step behind the blue line. I'm going to count to three and then we're going to go. Are you ready? You ready, Climax? You ready for this? You ready? No? Yes. Yes. That's what, that's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. You ready? Three, two, one. Beep! Go, 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 go. <gasps> Managed to just scrape that cobweb. Oh, I'm on fire. Look at this pro jumping skills. Now, you got to be careful here. you got to kind of take your time. Oh, no, I got stuck in a cobweb. <gasps> we're neck and neck. We're neck and neck. Oh, I'm going to no, go get a jump over this one and jump over the jump to jump. Yes, I win. Wee! <laughs> Good job though, mate. You did all right. You did all right. Oh, I forgot about King of the Ladder as well. We need to play that sometime. Uh, but the second game in Squid's Slippery Olympics uh, is arrow shooting. Uh, basically, you got three targets. Uh, there should be some uh, bows in there, some arrows in there. I've already got some arrows. So take a bow, take an arrow, and basically you get three arrows and uh, you got three shots. Now it's like how many you get out of the three. You got to hit the the red target. So do you want to go first? You can stand behind here. This is uh, the limit you can stand behind. There's three targets in the distance. Check your three shots when you're ready. Boom! One! One point, mate. You got one out of one. There we go. Come on, you're on the next one. So you're gonna get this one. Get this one. Oh! Hey! Right, okay, and there's the final one all the way in the distance. Quite hard, this. You got two out of three. Ooh! That's in the blue, I'm afraid. You got two out of three, Climax. But good go, though. If I don't get three out of three, then you win this round, okay? So you've got to go and uh, be the judge for me, mate. you got to go and stand by them, make sure when I hit them. I'm pretty confident with this, though. I don't think I'm going to miss. Uh, one, boom. Oh, that was a bit that was a bit random. That was a bit... Uh, bit <laughs> I don't even know. I thought I was going to miss then. Uh, the second one. Oh, no, I missed. I missed. No. Oh, no. Right, if I have to get this, if I don't get this, then he's won this round. Okay, so let's do this one. I don't know where to aim. Where can I aim? Uh, maybe a bit higher. I don't know. No. That was poor. That was...
was so poo from me. I need to work on my arrows shooting skills. Right, well done. Well done. That's 1 1. That's 1 1. Okay, we'll have one last game on the King of the Ladder. And I think you know what King of the Ladder is, Climax. I'm pretty sure you do. Um, I think we did this with bow and arrows, did we? Uh, we, did, we did bow and arrows, and we did it with swords, wooden swords. If you take yourself a bow and arrow and a sword, uh, we're going to start off. Uh, we're going to start off behind these two chests, okay? And then the count of three, it's the first one to make it to the top of the ladder wins, alright? Okay? Alright, let's do this. Three, two, one. Beep! Let's go, 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 right? Oh, no, I <laughs> fell off already. No, 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 right, okay, I'm going to have to just go on the offensive. I'm opening the chest up already. Oh, dear squid, come on. I'm going to have to go on the offensive. I'm going to try and hit him off. Uh, did we hit him? Did we hit him? I don't know. I've just been... I, why did I do this? I'm absolutely terrible and... No! I've lost! That was... Oh, hit him! Did I... Oh, I think he's... No, he won. <laughs> <laughs> like I started off and just fell in the water. I didn't even... It wasn't even a valiant... Valiant... Val, I can't even speak. A valiant attempt or anything. That was just so poor. Oh, dear. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this, Skyland, guys. And uh, be playing some games uh, for once because I've noticed we've been building quite a lot recently. Uh, but I hope you are enjoying uh, the Santa, the Santa roller coaster and stuff. It should be uh, coming along pretty well. And uh, yeah, hopefully next episode we can get the elves finished. We can get the elf workshop finished, and uh, we can hopefully um, get some people in to build me a roller coaster or something like that. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode. My name is Squid, and I will see you later. Bye.